As of late, I've mostly been making videos about Dougal Dixon's 1990s Spec Evo work, Man After Man, talking about the different species they're in, and giving an overview of their respective biologies and lifestyles. Man After Man is often, understandably, compared directly to All Tomorrows, and the two are now arguably the two most well-known books in the genre. Indeed, there are a number of similarities between these two works, and also a fair few differences. We won't go into to all of that stuff in too much depth in this video, but there is one thing that we've probably all noticed by now, and that's the fact that while Man After Man gives each of its post-human species a scientific name, for example, Homo Silvis Fabricatus for the Tropical Forest Dweller, or Acudens Ferox for the Spike Tooth, All Tomorrows doesn't provide a scientific name for any of its species, except of course the Pandoravis Pandora. While in my opinion this doesn't really take anything away from the story, I still find it quite interesting to think about what they would be named by the contemporary scientific community. And while our modern day names and terms would be of little to no use 40 million years in the future, it's still fun to speculate. This is, after all, speculative evolution, and so I will be giving every species in All Tomorrows a scientific name. Now a quick disclaimer. I'm not a scientist. I've had no scientific training whatsoever. The names I give are not canon, and I don't speak any Latin. I am but a humble YouTuber. And so, it's possible that there will be some mistakes in the way that I name the species. I know that whatever I decide to call each of these post-humans will likely not conform completely to the way in which actual scientists name species. I'm just having a bit of fun. And if people are going to name spiders Actinopus resnori after Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails, then it seems to me that basically anything goes. Now with all that said, I'll quickly plug my Patreon and CM Kozeman's as well. Links are in the description. Now, let's get started with part one of this new series. First off are the Star People. These are humans, but they are technically post-humans due to their being created artificially. The Martians remain Homo sapiens sapiens, as they are natural humans who just happen to be born on Mars. But the Star People are different enough from us to be given their own scientific name, and so I will designate them Homo sapiens stellaris. Next up are the Q. We all know the story of the Q invasion by now, and I think that a fitting name for this species is Terribilis Invasor, meaning Terrible Invader, though I'm sure the Q would give themselves a far more flattering name. The worms are going to be called Homo Analidus. The reason for this is that the scientific name for the worm found on Earth is Analida. The Titans are Homo Gigantus Loxodontus, Giant Elephant Man. Next are the Predators, who I feel should be named Homo Ferocis Unguibus, Ferocious Claw. The prey are Homo pecuarius, the latter word meaning grazer. The mantelopes would be called Homo quadrupedius memoria, owing to their being quadrupeds who acted as living memory banks for the Q. The swimmers I will name Piscanthropus pistris, the former taken from man after man's Piscanthropus submarinus and the latter word meaning shark in Latin. The lizard herders themselves are actually not too different from Homo sapiens in the present day, the only major difference being their severely stunted intelligence and their proclivity for herding lizards. Physically, there isn't much difference. However, as they're actually more closely related to the star people, being made from them as opposed to the modern Homo sapien, I will designate this species Homo stellaris hebes, dull star people. The Temptor will be named Homo femina superior and Homo masculum inferior, owing to the extreme sexual dimorphism in this species. The Bone Crusher will be named Homo fortis rostruma, meaning strong beak. For the Colonials, I feel that the name Homo pergamentoris comedentia would suit, meaning sewage eater. The flyers, being an avian post-human, would need a designation that reflects this, and as such, I feel that the name Homo Valans to be as good a name as any, meaning flying man. The hand flappers, I feel, can be compared in some ways to the extinct dodo of Earth. They are both descended from flying ancestors, 
Both gave up their power of flight, and both were doomed, albeit for rather different reasons. As such, using a combination of the Dodo's current scientific name and one of its previous ones for inspiration, I have decided to call the flyer Homo raphus ineptus. The blind folk, as a species, share many similarities with the moles of modern Earth. They live underground and possess long whiskers and claws used for burrowing. Though unlike moles which can actually see, despite the common misconception, the blind folk are, as the name suggests, completely blind. They also share some similarities with bats, possessing large ears and the use of echolocation to find their way around. And so, I feel it would be appropriate to name the blind folk Homo Chiropterus Talpideus, basically meaning Mole Bat Man. The Lopsider's most obvious physical characteristic is its flat body, giving it an appearance reminiscent of the Earth flatfish. The Lopsider is not, however, an aquatic life form, instead being a terrestrial species that lives on a planet with 36 times the amount of gravity that Earth has. Due to its flatness, I will name the Lopsider Homo Planus. The Striders I will call Homo Mitis Turime, meaning gentle tower, due to their peaceful ways and incredible height. The Parasites will need a name that reflects their blood-sucking lifestyle. Is Homo Politicianus a little too on the nose? Probably. In which case I will name them Homo Potatorus Sanguisia, blood drinker. The fingerfishes are Homo aduncus digito, named for their long, hooked fingers. For the hedonists, I think that the name Homo voluptus quasitorus would be apt, which means pleasure seeker. The insect offer guy would be named Homo animalis comedentis, insect eating man. The spacers are descendants of star people who escaped the queue and managed to hide from them for millions of years, creating new lives for themselves within hollowed out asteroids. For these reasons, I will name the spacers Homo stellaris asteroidus. And last of all, we have the Ruin Haunters. These megalomaniacal posthumans possess a deep superiority complex as a species. They consider themselves the ancient star people's true heirs and they wish to destroy all other post-human species whom they consider unworthy. Homo Tyrannus. And I think for now we can call it a day. What do you think of these scientific names for the All Tomorrow species I've mentioned thus far? Do you have any alternatives that you think would be better suited? Have I managed to completely mess up the established rules of naming a species? Sound off in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and become a patron of mine and CM Kozeman's. This has been Beware the Q, and I'll catch you next time for part two of the series. Take care.